two, the 11 o'clock game against Choice Select. And we're, we got started a little early because both teams were ready to go. And Gianni back on the mound. Uh, oh, thanks. Gianni back on the mound, but with the first batter here, he's already taken the count to 2-1. And that is a hit over the second baseman's head. And the runner will stay at first. So a leadoff single for Choice Select against Gianni, who did pitch 10 innings in the first game. And there's a play over at first, although not that close. Oh, I need it. The ball gets away down the line. But Gianni, or sorry, Joe was able to stop it there. And Gianni now will take the mound again with the man on first. And that ball is hit down the right field line, but foul. Oh, this is you, Garrett. I know, I know. I saw my, uh, It there was no, there was no made play to be made there. And the next pitch, it's way high. So the Gianni we saw in the last game is having trouble to be Gianni this game. And he's going. Runner will be in there safe as the ball is thrown into out the outfield there. We have Next pitch, swing and a miss at 59 in the eyes for strike three. So big, big win there um, for Gianni. So now we got runners on second, runner, a runner on second with one down and big number 11 stand in here. And a play at second, but not in time. Sorry, I got a little fooled there. I didn't see that happening. Gianni now will step back on the rubber and go. One down. Runner does not go. Choice select, right? All right, I'm still working on gathering myself. I spent the, what I thought was gonna be enough time between games to put everything on a charger, but I only got a couple of things on chargers, so I gotta have to go fix that. All right, Gianni now, maybe not laboring like I feel like I'm laboring, but here we go. He's had a little Pot will sit straight up. Hits. And that ball lands in the tree behind us for the second strike of the at bat. We got a one ball, two strike now. So choice select, as far as I can tell, this is their first game of the season. When I went on Game Changer, I did not see them having any other games. Um, we have played them before. I swear we played them before. 
Uh, maybe in fall ball, but not quite sure. Um, but uh, they have played together for a while. There's a ground ball down the third baseline, but it's foul. So we, a little audible uh, for this game. Gianni came in and had one inning in the last game and then started this one. Originally slated to not swing and a miss at strike three, 61 in the eyes. So that's two down on two high fastballs. Number eight steps in. Number eight is uh, as tall as the umpire, uh, which would make him probably taller than me, uh, but also well, well filled out. We have a few tall kids on our team, but they, they're tall and skinny. This is as uh, young man's becoming a young man. Swing and a miss at a 56 mile an hour cutter on the outside corner of the plate. And here's the next pitch. That ball is way high, 58. Uh, we have Kieran behind the plate. So Kieran gets the start in game two. Joe at first, uh, Aaron at second, Ricardo at short, Jorge at third. Again, that's because Gianni is pitching, so there's no uh, over to play third. Swing and a miss at a 60 mile an hour cutter failing, sliding away from the right-handed batter. Uh, Gianni's cutter absolutely working for him here in the second game. In left, I've got Javon. In center, I've got Jack. And in right, I've got Jabrell. And that ball gets away. And there'll be no play at third as it goes way down the first base. So Gianni now towing the rubber for the one ball, two strike count with two down. So he's still very much in control here. Good stop by Kieran. Find the plate for the another ball. Oh, we got three two according to the ump. He, Let's go, Gianni. Oh, I don't know. Let's go, just, man. He put up left hand, he put up three for sure. Oh, should have been strike three, but we are not getting that low call from this ump. So ball four, batter will take the plate, uh, take the base. So now we got first and third. And we'll see. Choice select step in. Johnny just really needs to focus on the batter with two downs and doesn't need to worry about the guy in first. There's a 61 mile an hour pitch that UPS, it was uh, direct right down the plate there. Actually, UPS I think goes to Memphis or something, so it doesn't go direct. <laughs> so, but it was, it was specially delivered right down the middle of the plate there. Next pitch, same pitch, same strike. Gianni just pumping the, the heat here. That one was a little slower at 58. But with two strikes now to number 37, Gianni absolutely in the driver's seat. And that ball is crushed into right center field. Uh, over Jabril's head, that's gonna score two. And then we'll probably have us a, a play at third. The ball gets past our guard, gets past our cutoff man. And so that ball will, or that runner will get in with a, a triple. So Gianni had, had the count, had the driver's seat, really looked like he had the kid fooled, but Let's Michelle's game changer, yeah. Right now, take it off. Let's what? Go. There's two down. Oh. Back to work. Gianni now has got to get focused, got to be a little frustrated himself to let that batter go. But, uh, and he is, you can tell by the dejected look at that after that throw. Ball is stopped by Kieran. Good stop right there. So Gianni now, like we saw with the kid in the Angels game, he is in his head. Physically, he has got all the pieces to pitch, but he is he is really, he thought he had that last batter and giving up a two run triple is really shaking him. There it is, swing and a miss. I missed the speed on that one for some reason. Uh, the throwback was 27. So <laughs> Kieran's, Kieran's throwback is uh, obviously not the, not the number there, so. 
This kid with way up uh, on the strike two. That's a 53 mile an hour pitch, if my gun's to be believed. And Gianni now. Oh, there is runner stays at third though. Goes back. Gianni now taking this batter to a full count again. So even though he's pitching well, putting a lot of pitches on the arm by going to full count with several batters here this inning. So a more stressful top of the first for the Jackrabbits. And that ball skips away, and the runner's gonna go to first. Watch the runner, watch the runner. And the runner doesn't go anywhere, although it looked like he definitely wanted to. Runner stays at third. So as such, we're now first and third, two down. Flex steps in. Karen be reminded to know the situation. That is, don't go for the throw at second when you've got a guy on third. That ball is fast inside. The runner will take second uncontested. So he'll get a stolen base in the scorebook. There's a very upset dog behind me, a little small yappy guy. And the, uh, I can't see him. And a ground ball down third base line is foul. And uh, Coach Hunter unable to make the play. Disappointing. Got to get down on that, Coach Hunter. You got to get down on that. So Gianni with a 52 mile an hour, maybe change up there. One ball, two strikes. We've been, stop me if we've been here before. We got two strikes now. We got to get, uh, got to get this third strike, get this out. With two runners and scoring position for choice select, vital that we stop. There it is, strike three. All right. Two. So not the best start for us, but certainly could have been worse. And as such, uh, Jack Rabbits are able to get out of the uh, top of the first after giving up, what, two runs, I believe. Uh, Jorge, hold on, sorry, I can't see. Uh, Joe, Jorge, Gianni with Teddy, Aaron, and Ricardo on once they get up on. So, all right, I'm going to go fix. I got to get power into the third base camera or it's going to die.
And the camera on third base now has power. It was running out of juice. And Joe now has a free trip to first base on four pitches. And there's Joe. In steps Jorge. Jorge, who confessed to me that he did uh, what I suspected, he just recently got his physical, and he is not. Uh, we, have, we got a Bach called, so the Jackrab is doing a heck of a job getting Bach called on their behalf today. So Joe will take second. So you can see Joe there at second base. Oh, shoot, sorry, I missed that. Swing and a miss by Jorge. So Jorge got his uh, physical, and in his physical, his left eye is uh, definitely um, not up to snuff. So he said he is going to go get, uh, potentially go get some glasses. So Jorge with a swing and a miss. Again, underneath, always underneath. That left eye is not tracking for him to know if he's, if he's uh, gonna put the bat on the ball or not, so. And second base, there's a throw, but they, he's safe. And Jorge now will step back in. Let's see, I have not been paying attention. Oh, no ball, two strike count. Swing and a miss. Jorge. Down on three strikes. So four balls to Joe, then three strikes to Jorge. Uh, if this is Choice Select's first game, you can see the impact of nerves. So Gianni steps in now. Teddy should be in the on-deck circle. And that ball is fisted down. Oh, wait, what happened? What happened? Oh, pop up to, to pitcher, apologies. I thought that he fisted it down the right field line. Uh, nuts. Teddy, who has no body fat whatsoever, wearing a sweatshirt on a 59 degree day. Load early. Teddy now with a chance to get the RBI. Swing and a miss at a fastball down at the knees. Teddy now steps in with a one strike count. And that ball gets away and Joe will easily scamper over to third base. It being suggested that Teddy wear that uh, by a member of the audience. If, if the member of the audience knew how much Teddy hates being hurt in any way, he had a scratchy throat for three days, so all of us had to hear about that for days. Uh, it, it, uh, so yeah, a, being hit by pitch would be a week-long tragedy. Teddy swings the ball in his eyes. Now, that probably is a strike, given the elevated strikes on this ump, so just now catching away. Two-strike approach, buddy, two-strike approach. Teddy already knowing that, I'm yelling to him like a coach because I can't help it, but had already choked up on the bat. Hips, hips. He can turn his hips and turn the, this pitcher the other way. And a shot down the right field line, foul. Teddy the chance here with two down to drive in the RBI and at least cut the deficit uh, in the first inning here, help claw back some of those runs against Choice Select. And that ball is low and away. And the Choice Select catcher, learning from the Angels catcher last game, how you have to just walk the runner back. So Teddy now steps back in. That ball is low, it's 62. So again, he's keeping the, the same strike zone. That ball would generally be 
a strike, but it was not. Full count, thank you. Keith, keep keep it Keith keeping me in line on the count. Teddy here looking to swing. And that will not be there. That is outside. He'll take first. And all right, Teddy, good eye, good eye. Cries of 356 from the pro select bench. That's almost certainly some sort of trick play when Teddy steals here. Um, Aaron now rocking the Rawlings icon. And that ball's popped up to the right side. First baseman's underneath it, he gets it. And that ends the inning. Jackrabbits unable to plate any of their runners. As such, they did not win this inning, and it's 2 nothing going to the top of the second for the choice select batters. Huh? Oh, Jack, looks like Jack will take the mound as we go in the second inning. So, <laughs> Coach had a rotation and a plan, but uh, that's not how that works. So Jack will come in in relief. And we'll see how it goes from there. And with that, the ball's down, and Jackrabbits will be on the field here for the top of the second inning. As was mentioned, Jack is back on the hill here in the top of the second. And we've got Kieran behind the plate, Joe at first, Ricardo back at second, Jorge at short, and Gianni at third. Swing and a miss at a 58 mile an hour fastball. A little high, but it'll probably look pretty juicy. In right, we've got Jabrell. In center, we've got Chris. And in left, we've got Javon. This is the 13U Spring Training Tournament. Uh, very appropriate, because spring training is just a few days from wrapping up. And for, and he was hit on the thigh. He was not hit on the thigh, according to the ump. Um, narrator's voice, he was hit on the thigh. Uh, oh, Ump having a conversation with his field ump to see if maybe he missed something. And there is apparently a dead spot. Maybe can I get that? No. Nope. How about that one? Can't get that part of the field. Sorry. Uh, 
All right, so it was called a ball and not a hit, hit batsman. Um, I don't know if my 480p streaming will catch that, but he definitely got pinged. Anyway, Jack gets a lucky break on that and is going to have to come back and make the most of it. Next pitch. Swing and a miss. The 58 again in the eyes. So Jack has found this batter's weak spot. And to be fair to number two, it is virtually every batter's weak spot. You can even see it in the pros where guys are going high heat because when the ball comes in, it looks like a giant beach ball. But there's really nothing you can do with it. Next pitch in the dirt. So Jack mixing things up here. High heat and then junk ball. That was 55. So 2-2 two -two count, Jack now. Coming from the windup, he can generate about three or four miles an hour faster with that. Swing and a miss at a fastball in his eyes. And uh, Jack just taking advantage of that number two's weakness. So we probably won't get that lucky, uh, but when you get a chance and you see a weakness in a batter, you gotta, gotta keep going back to it. I'm sure number two, he was kicking himself all the way to, to the dugout. He knew not to swing at that. And that ball is 59 and a lot outside. So Gianni started and went one inning of two run ball. Jack in here in the second. And so far one batter, one out. Ah, 29 laid off that 61 mile an hour fastball. So that's the difference right there. A little plate discipline. Well done, number 29. And ball is inside. Jack throwing absolute BBs today. Ball's hard. And, uh, as such, really coming in with a lot of heat. 50, 59 to 61 off the, off the windup. But struggling to stay in and around the zone. Takes a little off that one at 56, and it's a uh, strike. And the sun is out in full effect here in your Mile High Stadium, your uh, Mile High City, excuse me. Swing and a miss. Number 29 made it, last minute decision there, but couldn't keep up with it. Jack now back in charge with two strikes. But he does not have any pitches to waste here. He's got to bring another one. And he does. Strike three. There it is. So, so Kieran and Jack need to work a little bit on the what to do on strike three. Two down. Kieran uh, threw it back to Jack. Jack wanted a celebratory throw around the horn there and actually had taken his glove off. So almost grabbed it with his bare hand there. So number four now steps in for choice select. Jack throwing these BBs. Hopefully he can stay in close. That ball has at 59 is it high has been a strike earlier in the day jack now with another pitch there it is 60. i think he's at 61 but 60. so he's bringing the heat today from the windup he can put one or two or three miles an hour on each pitch i think he's just pushing off the rubber and Jack with the next pick. Oh, Jack trying to overthrow that one. He spikes it. Uh, Kieran catches it on the second bounce to the plate. So <laughs> let you know that one was not that competitive. And whoa, that ball is high and inside. Hey, good coaching by the choice select coach. Remind number four, like, you get out of the way of those. You, they, let's not even flirt with pitches up near the face. He said, you know, I'm not, I want you to take in the teeth. So good coaching right there. That's, let's, hurt. <laughs> Jack throws so hard, his hat falls off. 56 for a strike. He has a lot of hair. Arguably the second most hair on the team behind Teddy. Much, much loft. Uh, my understanding is not a lot of product. That is a natural curl. Uh, one that he's very proud of. And that certainly when he looks back at his middle school pictures will think, what was I thinking? Uh, Jack having a real hard time. Real hard time keeping that hat on. At some point he's going to get called here for a ball and a distraction. Uh, so now he's working on maybe 
Maybe we'll borrow some bobby pins from, from the ladies in the other. If anybody, who, who even uses bobby pins anymore? Where's Bobby and what's with his pins? Okay. So now we got a lefty. So a lefty on lefty uh, matchup here, which is so rare. First, and they do not get him. So runner has about the right amount of lead there without him uh, po getting picked off. It's about two and a half steps off first. Low and away, 53. So you can see Jack off the off the stretch loses some heat because he doesn't quite get that full body going growing into a young man but still still parts of the body including the weight that are that of a boy 53 and high but swung and strike excuse me swung at and strike i got a one one count okay one one count two down man on first Jack with a pause, swing and a miss with 55 right down the middle. Now, if Jack has a curve, but I don't think Jack does. If he does, you'd throw it here, I suspect, against the lefty, because it would actually break, uh, come towards the lefty and then break away. There it is, strike three, that's beautiful pitch for 56 on the outside corner. Uh, and that's it, that wraps up three strikeouts for Jack in that inning. If he had a contract that was performance incentivized like Teddy does, He'd be in the money, but uh, I don't believe anybody's paying him. He plays for the love of the game. So as such, uh, Jack, three uh, strikeouts. We had one uh, left on base for the choice select. And in steps, uh, same pitcher as last time, number number two, right? Yeah, number two. And we'll be back at the, we home or away? We're home. We're home. We'll be back at the bottom of the second here at the Jackrabbits play choice select in the Kaba spring training tournament. It's time for the parents and spectators to shed the outer layer. We're seeing sweatshirts come off and jackets come off as the sun beats down uh, here in Denver. Snow still on the mountains. Um, and in 10 days of snow forthcoming for the mountains. For us, we just have a uh, threat of rain tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. We'll turn to snow on. Uh, because that's after the tournament, and uh, and honestly, for our family, we're going to go going to Seattle for the whole week for spring break, and so of course it's going to rain there. So we just expect it. Interesting note, though, this is the wettest uh, first three months of the year in Denver history, um, and so we're seeing um, plenty of plenty of precipitation this year. Our snow is rather than that light, lofty stuff, which we love. It's that heavy East Coast stuff. With that, Ricardo steps in, swings, and pulls his head. He was looking for that home run, but on a 51 mile an hour pitch, he can't even connect. Ricardo pulling his head again at 50, swing and a miss, 55. <laughs> yeah. Coach, coach from third base screaming, if I see your eyes one more time, I'm done because he keeps pulling his head. That ball is high and away. Sorry, high inside. Just walked over and uh, saw Cardo's mom and dad. Cardo's mom putting her hands in her, her head in her hands because she frustrated with Ricardo's swings there. Ricardo not getting an opportunity to battle back here, the pitcher a little wild in the last two pitches to a 2-2 count.
next pitch is way outside and high. We got a 3 2 count now. Ricardo, if he's wise here, he will be, be selective here and take that free base if he can get it from number two. Swing and a miss. Ball's dropped. And he is out on the tag. So Ricardo with three swings, three misses, and I think pulled his head every time. So in steps Chris. And that and Isai on deck. Thank you, Keith. So again, Chris with a uh, big wide stance working on after a very frustrating fall ball. Was able to get on base. Right. Down the third baseline, let's see. Can he leg it out? And they got him by a step. So two down. So choice select, just stand him up and knock him over here against the Jackrabbits. Eastside will step in. Let's see if we can get a base runner here. Well, I didn't even get a chance to talk about Chris and his new approach, but you can see there swinging first pitch fastball. He's swinging. Isai likewise had a tougher fall. Spent some time in the cages over the winter trying to perfect a, a swing that keeps up. Swing and a miss at a beautiful curveball. Whew! Number two. If number two can throw that all the time, it looks like it fools his catcher, but it definitely fools our, quarterba uh, our, our quarterbacks, our Jackrabbits. Wowzer. So Jackrabbit's unable to get uh, anything going here through an inning and two thirds. Swing and a miss of 58. So that was, there's almost a 13 mile an hour difference here between the curveball and the fastball. So number two definitely looking like the ace. I can see why he got the season start for choice select. And there's a ground ball down the left field line and foul. ball is called high. So I missed the speed on that, but uh, it looked like a fastball. And pitcher set. Oh, ground ball right up the middle. A beautiful swing from east side. So it is really great to see the kids uh, who are working in the off season getting some hits. We saw that, you know, from Aaron and Chris and Esai. So the kids putting in the work are seeing the results. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that, uh, ain't that true, right? Attitude and effort goes a long way. Putting in the work goes a long way. So Jack now going from pitcher to batter. And we get a throw over. Jack barking ball, 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 like a good teammate. Esai, probably not much of a threat to steal. Now on a pass ball, he almost certainly would go, but. I don't see him breaking on this first pitch here. Jack swings at a 54 mile an hour pitch in his eyes. Jack swings at a 55 mile an hour pitch that was somewhere in the stratosphere. Not gonna do much with that even if he makes contact. Maybe a slow roller to third base. We've already seen the third baseman show good glove and throwing skills. So you just gotta be better. You gotta be plate disciplined. The Jack that we saw in game three, or game one. And here in game two with on three pitches, three strikes, three outs ends any threat, emerging threat that the Jackrabbits were developing. As of two innings, Choice select two, Jackrabbits nothing. We go to the bottom of the three. Game moving along quite quickly. Let's see who comes back out on the mound here. I would guess Jack, but uh, we shall see. At the top of the inning, I'll be back to talk about the tournament and where we go from here tomorrow.
All right, top of the third, let's play some ball. I'm chomping a few carrots, or uh, apples, I apologize. 55, swing and a miss. So here we are at the Kaba Spring Training Tournament. 13 U, oh, foul ball. Unlike, unlucky for the choice select uh, 23, that was a foul ball. And it hit my camera. <laughs> so no balls, two strikes uh, for, whoops, for the batter. Jack threw that right at my knees. I'm not kidding. I was right, would have hit me right in the knees if there wasn't a back. Coach call on time, which I appreciate because now I can get my, get myself a little bit more sorted here. I think Jack's moving too quickly for coach's liking. That this is a this is a problem that Jack has had perennially, which is moving so fast. There we go. And the next pitch. Swing and a foul tip into the glove. Jabril with a great squeeze. Yes. Jabril the great squeeze on strike three there. So we have Jabril behind the plate, Jack on the mound, although we're pitching from flat today, no mound. Joe, Aaron, Rick, Jorge, and Gianni make up the infield. Strike at the letters on the outside corner. In the outfield, we got Teddy in left. We've got uh, Chris in center. Chris, you know, I even got these bifocals. I still can't see. Next pitch, foul ball, strike two. And in right field, looks like we got Isaiah. So, Jack, Mr. Coiffed. I don't know, I need a good name. I need a good, good name for him. What's, the, what's French for hair? Oh, ball is high, 55, but Jack trying to get him to go, go, uh, I know. But the, the coiffed, uh, wispy strands of Jack poking up from underneath his hat and then sometimes popping his hat off. Here comes the one ball, two strike pitch. And that ball is corked into center field. And underneath it is Chris, who comes down with it. Well done, Chris. And that's two down for Jack. It looks like my third base camera got tweaked a little. I'm gonna have to that. How's this first base looking? First base still beautiful. Second still good. So he offered it that pitch. So that was, he did not pull his bat back there. So that was definitely a ball had the pitcher, or had the batter not offered at it with a bunt, but he didn't pull his bat back. So that is a strike, strike one with two down and nobody on. Jack doing a little bit better here in this inning. Also pretty amped, pretty amped up. A lot of moving fast, throwing hard. He, uh, but coach has already come out and talked to him once. Break two right there, that high kind of shoulder to chin. So, uh, you know, ump again, calling that high strike, but being fair to everybody. And it's gotta be something that you go back to like number, you know, what is this kid, number five? He's gotta go back to the dugout and let everybody know that he's getting the high pitch. Jack with a long delay there, froze number five, but then was nowhere near the plate. So really interesting uh, thing. Uh, let's see if I can go start a collection of bobby pins for Jack here. So, does anybody have bobby pins? Do we have a collection of bobby pins for Jack and his hat? Put some bobby pins on his hat. That ball's high, ball two. I'm just, I, at some point I'm wondering like, if Umpa's gonna start calling it a distraction. Cause you're not, cause it looks like, I mean, it's hard as hell. You're trying to track a ball and his hat falls off. So we'll see, but coach, but Umpa hasn't said anything yet. So we'll let him go with the big hair. Next pitch, flow. That takes it to full count, three balls, two strikes. So now you don't want to lose him here. This is, a, this is one of those things where the inning starts to get away from you. You get two strikes, so three straight balls. You just got to come back and let, throw, your, throw a pitch and let number five do something with it. And not, here comes the pitch. Ball is inside. Maybe even clip number five, I'm not sure. Hey. 
So we lost him there after two strikes, lost him. So that's uh, that's the kind of thing that traditionally Jackrabbits have struggled with is getting that key out right there, not extending the inning, not putting extra pitches on the pitcher's arm, and also um, not giving them the other team the more opportunities to score. So gonna happen, frustrating is happening to them. And Jack now, five straight balls. Coach cannot come talk to him. So that's not great. Some chatter from the opponents about a balk, but uh, not called. Jack with a little dance there. Jack getting barked at to, to start pitching the ball. There we go. That's a strike. There. Trouble. So now, you know what? Two balls, one strike. Yeah. And the runner on first has now been offered the second base because, well, Jack balked there. And honestly, he balked probably once or twice before that. So Jack is getting, getting yelled at because he's too amped. He's too excited to be out there. Um, and he's got to get his guns to all under control. I mean, it's a emotion. And there's no play at third on a pass ball there. So Jack all over the place now. Crazy good first two batters. Struggling now to find his rhythm again. But this is a game of high pressure and you gotta be able to get yourself into a place where you can perform. And if the pressure gets you too excited, then you're in. And that ball will allow the runner to go down to first on a walk. But the runner at third stays. And now we've got big number eight in for uh, in the batter's box. Excuse me. Two down. So Jack Rabbits can just get the single out. And a pop to the right. All right, so, so Jack uh, saved there by the by number eight swinging. Otherwise, the batter would have, or sorry, the runner would have taken second. Instead, we got a one strike count. Perfect pitch right there. Oh, I don't know where that was. That was bummer. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Maybe a little outside, not sure. Jack still in the in the in the stretch. He could go from the windup now because the batters can't go anywhere. So two balls, one strike. And that ball is crushed to left center underneath. Oh, Chris could not get a read on it. And that ball drops in in front of Chris. Wow, it sounded crushed, but it actually didn't go very far. And that ball drops. I'm not sure Chris could have made the catch uh, given where he was playing, but uh, nonetheless, an RBI single for number, what is it, number eight on choice select. Number 37 now will step in. So Jack Rabbits had two outs, unable to get the third out, and now that walk has turned into a run. Three nothing. Three. There it is. Strike. 55 right down the middle. Let's see if Jack can now bring himself to center himself. Throw more strikes like that. Jabril behind the plate making the stops, but not, not the throws. Gotta throw it. Hit him in the chest. So what a difference two hours makes. <laughs> we were making the plays and making the strikes and now we're, um, now we're struggling with two outs.
Jack now falling behind this batter as well. That was way outside. 48 it said, I think. I think it missed it though, because it was so far outside. 3-1. Runners on second and third. No bueno. No bueno. There it is. Oh, that ball was outside. Ball four. And Jack, Jack in a lot of disbelief. Uh, Jack is, I think, frustrated by that, but also um, Jack was not near the plate to earn it. You know, you're only gonna get those marginal calls if you're close, and he was, the last three batters been all over the place. So uh, Jack has been relieved of his pitching duties. In comes Ricardo. So <laughs> Ricardo not on the uh, original rotation, but we'll take it. Um, Ricardo, a second baseman, throws decently hard, but more importantly, throws quite accurately. So it doesn't have a lot of pitches uh, in his arsenal, but he can get the ball over the uh, plate. So uh, just looking here, if you, while we wait for Ricardo to warm up, um, he, the Jackrabbits, Coppa Spring Training Tournament are in the 13U Goldschmidt Division. So we are not in the Arenado Division. For those of you that happen to Google this and want to find it, um, we are in the Goldschmidt Division. Which is the Arenado Division, I think, had four or six. Uh, I'm not sure how that worked out or how we got in here, but we have 10 teams. Um, and of course, like always, today's round robin play will set the seedings for tomorrow. It is very early as only two games have concluded, but the Jackrabbits with their 8-1 victory earlier have the number one uh, seeding right now. But of course that is completely contingent upon them winning two games. There will definitely be two game winners and the two game winners will, uh, will get the higher seeds. Uh, Jackrabbits also have to be smart if they go one and one to not have a big um, run differential. So right now, not bad, three, three runs in, but with the uh, with the bases loaded, uh, 13 here for Choice Select has a chance to really blow the blow the game wide open, and Jackrabbits just have to stop that. So Ricardo throwing high 40s, low 50s. So again, not a fast pitcher. He is in for his accuracy. He's in to challenge the Choice Select team to um, to put the ball in play and to put the defense to work. So it's not going to be it's not going to be a shut them down inning. It's going to be a ground out for the final out of the inning. Inning. And the batter's been told to come step in. And with two outs, there's a force at any base. Ricardo needs to keep the ball down here and keep the ball on the ground. The infield ready. What happened? They called a balk? So we had a balk there. Do we know why? I didn't see it. From uh, Ump here about why there was a balk, but that's a free run now and gets rid of all of the force plays. Ball outside, 48. So the first pitch didn't count because it was a balk. Now we're a one ball, no strike count. That ball is inside, number 13. Misses the plate by. Yeah, now that was a phenomenal play by Jorge to get the third and to staunch the, uh, the effort, yeah, uh, by the Choice Select team. But, but really not, uh, not Jack Rabbit's game today. In fact, they may be, you can't see, now it's off the screen. They're getting a little chat with, uh, from the coach. Um, Coach really kind of explaining them, this is not Jackrabbits baseball. I don't know what you're playing, but this isn't Jackrabbits baseball as the 13U team. So, um, and I like to hear that. I like to like to challenge them to step up and be better themselves. <laughs> uh, it looks like we have a new pitcher, number 29. And I know that I lost the stream there for a bit, but uh, we'll be back. We are back. I apologize. Again, I am 
frustrated as you are um, with the Wi-Fi from T-Mobile. So we'll, again, try to figure out a better solution. I'll try to get over to the T-Mobile store today, see what we can do. And with a new pitcher here as we go into the bottom of the inning. We're going to have Javon up. And nobody in the on-deck circle. A little concerning that we don't know who's going to be up next. But Javon was going to see the first pitch here and hopefully drive this thing into the outfield. And a 55 mile an hour pitch right down the middle of the plate. Now giving up that first pitch fastball right down the middle of the plate allows the pitcher to have a little bit of pitches to play with, including a curveball that doesn't curve. 54 at the jaw. I didn't realize by putting you on, you'd exile yourself to a left field corner. <laughs> Crystal uh, coming up close to watch Javon hit, but won't be on the broadcast anymore. She exiled her to the left field corner. Whoa, not sure what that was. Left the hand super funny. Uh, 54 and very high. Javon with a very late decision to swing at a 57 mile an hour fastball way outside. 2-2 Two -two count now. Javon looking a little nervous up there. The first game he looked confident and uh, as such hit that ball into the outfield. That ball is high and away. That was the pitch that he swung at last time. So obviously learning from pitch to pitch, not, not what to do. Full count now. So it's on the pitcher to bring the pitch. Javon sitting pretty here. And he hits the ball down the third base line. It is going to drop for a fair ball. And he's going to go into first safely. So Javon, I think, yeah, a good recovery from an ugly swing to a nice uh, single into left field. And next, you got to play it first. And Javon with a big lead, but back safely. Isaiah now in the box. In the on-deck circle, we've got Kieran. Couldn't figure out if it's Kieran or Chris, but I think that's Kieran. Regardless, we have Javon on first. Javon's going. That ball gets away from the, pit, from the catcher, and we'll have Kieran in safely at second. Now, Isaiah really is, this is a perfect pitcher for Isaiah. If he grooves a 57 mile an hour fastball, Isaiah will hit this ball very, very deep. And he does. Did I not call it? That ball is gonna fall in front of the left fielder. And we're gonna have a play at the plate. No, we are not. Play a wide turn, but a double for Isaiah. Did I not call it? Isaiah on fastballs down the middle with no change in speed. Isaiah is the man. So a double there. Kieran now steps in with a chance to really change the face of this game. It has been the bottom of the order. It's been Aaron on down that has really supported this team. Uh, Kieran being one of them, he got a base hit last uh, game leading to an RBI. Oh, 
Nice swing. 54 mile an hour uh, curve ball. ball. So runner, two runners in scoring position and no one down. Jackrabbits having a chance to play their ball like coach implored them to do between innings. And that ball bounces. Never gonna be a, a temptation for Kieran. Kieran does have really good plate discipline. So it's just been a, a situation of trying to make the, the contact and drive the ball. But anything on the ground here that gets him beyond the pitcher scores at least one. And that ball is, gets away, but no one's gonna go anywhere. Again, if you weren't uh, part of the earlier broadcast, it's about four feet from the back of the ump to the backstop. So balls do not go very far once they get behind the, the catcher. And therefore, we're not seeing a lot of uh, bases taken on pass balls or wild pitches. Kieran swing and a miss at a 55 mile an hour pitch. It was a good pitch and a good swing. Those things are gonna happen. Now with a 2-2 count, Kieran's gotta choke up a little bit, open the legs a little wider so you're not spending a lot of extra energy and you're just making contact, putting the ball in play. Make choice select, put you out. He holds, does not swing on a 3-2 count. Now we got a full count. Kieran's gotta be smart. This pitcher is, no, is known to be able to keep it around the plate, but he isn't doing it consistently. So a tough place for a batter to be in. Foul ball caught by the catcher. That is strike three. He caught it. Catcher caught it. Kieran, Kieran thought he got away with it. the tip, but uh, because the catcher caught it, he is down. So Jabrell now steps in. And Isaiah drawn some attention at second. Ah, oh, Jabrell. Jabrell way early on that 54 mile an hour fastball. Now, Jackrabbits with second and third and nobody out have got to put some runs across the board. We've got one down now and Jabrell looking a little frozen up there. Oh, he pops the ball out. Where'd it go? Out of play somewhere. I, I apologize, it went out of play over my shoulder. So no balls and two strikes. Joe is in the on deck circle. Joe will be up next after Jabrell gets on, as I'm firmly confident he will. And that ball is low and away. Good eye. Good eye. That was tough. 55, low and away. Good pitch by the pitcher, too. He's got a pitch to burn, and he uh, he's able to uh, um, make, that, make that pitch, make the batter go for it. But he didn't. Jabrell now ready. He's been ready a long time like a coiled spring. Ooh! Go. Not that competitive, but nonetheless, when you've got two strikes, you're looking to swing and anything can be tempting. So Jabrell battling back now to an account that he, he's he got to work with here. He's still got to be defensive, but he doesn't have to be, he can be a little pickier. That ball is low and away, I guess, for a full count. Full count now. So Jabrell battling back. Like I said, when he gets on, Joe will be up next. We'll turn the line over and we'll have a top of the lineup with Joe. Oh, he, Jabrell, underneath a hanging curveball. Oh, that, that ball was a curveball and he, underneath it, he just, he was way out of it and cranked it uh, off to, out of play to the left-hand side. See that pitch again. Swing and a miss, but he misses it. Now we'll have a play at home, maybe. And we'll have the play at first. The ball gets away. We're going to score a second run. Oh, no, we do not score a second run. Isaiah did not come. So, oh, man. 
Uh, Isaiah held at third on that play at first. So a strikeout, but uh, takes uh, Jarrell takes first on a, I guess it's an error on the catcher. I don't really think it was a, <laughs> it wasn't a great pitch. Jarrell swung at a bad pitch, but and I think that'll probably go in the scorebook as an E2, which is a little unfair to him. Jabrell now with a, a, a lead off first, not a sizable lead, but a lead off first, and Isaiah on third. Joe showing bunt. He takes a, and we're gonna get, he's safe. The ball is dropped. So Isaiah may be fooled by that play where you throw to the short at uh, shortstop, but also probably the baseball gods squaring things up because uh, Isaiah should have scored on the overthrow to first. So uh, as it turns out, two runs in this inning, that's a big deal for us. Jack Rabbit was able to cut the deficit in half. Joe did take a strike there, so with a runner on second, he, uh, Joe's gonna need to get the ball in the outfield. 54, I think this kid might be throwing a cutter, maybe not so much a curve, but a cutter. Uh, it is breaking glove side and uh, the boys are getting a little bit underneath, or uh, sorry, on top of it and, uh, and ahead of it. I'm not sure exactly what he's throwing, but it's not a straight, straight fastball anymore. It's throwing, it's got a little movement on it. And that ball gets away, bounces up, but, but wisely, we have Jabrell just staying at second. One ball, two strikes now. Joe's got to be pretty aggressive here. They got him. Oh, they did not get him in second. He's safe. He is safe. Ooh, that was close. Very, very close. And I'm not sure when we go back on the replay what we'll see there. It's a little far to see that kind of bang bang play. And a shot up the middle. Jabril given the sign to go home. Joe to first. He's safe. Jabril in safely. RBI single for Joe. Big, big crucial hit there. 4-3 now, Jackrabbits, playing their type of baseball, getting on running, getting timely hits. It's crazy, because the, uh, the pitcher here is not, not pitching poorly. He's not, he's uh, a little wild, he's put a couple kids on, but, but really um, has been some kind of broader defensive lapses by the entire team, not by just his pitching. So regardless, he's gonna get hung with three earned runs um, and probably pretty frustrated. Coach obviously having a big conversation with the infield. I imagine it has something to go with, know what to do with the ball when you get it uh, because we're seeing, looks like that being an issue with the infield. And we got started a little early. So my guess is we're about an hour 20 in, hour, maybe hour 15. It's 12.10, so I think we started five minutes early, maybe. So still plenty of baseball left. We've got at least 30 minutes. Uh, I doubt we're gonna get to the, uh, the full six innings, but, uh, but plenty of baseball left, plenty of chance for both teams to play their type of baseball and see who ends up with, uh, with the most runs at the end of the game. Jorge now steps in. Now there's only one down, yeah, only one down. So Joe with a pretty significant lead at first, but he didn't. All right, pitcher has the ball again. Yeah, that's true. We are hearing energy from the dugout. We got some, some yelling, some let, let's go, etc. Jorge shows bunt, ball bounces. All right. I actually like Jorge, given the, the fact that Jorge's having a hard time kind of figuring out where the ball is in the, in the vertical plane. 
due to maybe some some vision issues. I like him bunting actually. Really press choice select to know what to do. Right now the second baseman's pulled way over by second base, so you'll be unlikely to cover first. And that ball bounces. Great backhand stop by the catcher. Really good backhand stop. Joe, tempting, tempting. I don't love it. Now he's coming back. And that is a, well, there's a ball. That was probably not a ball, but to call the ball, 3-0 now. So hopefully Jorge is smart here and just sits, sits on this pitch, doesn't do anything, and will take That is the best thing you can do for a kid who has a hard time seeing the ball, is give him a free base. Johnny now will step in. Johnny's just got to be smart here. So we got to put, we got to put the ball into the outfield somehow. Either it gets through or the ball gets into the outfield. Gianni now. Whoa! Don't be a hero, buddy. If you, get out of the way, get out of the way. Don't take that off the face. Gianni now, after taking a very high first pitch ball, steps in. And that ball skips away. It's 54 miles an hour. Joe will take third. And following in his wake, Jorge will take second. So Gianni now with a single would score and put this game, uh, put it, put that ball in, or put this game into our reach. Here we go. So 23 on the mound there, having a little bit of trouble keeping the ball up. Uh, he's really just been spiking the ball. I don't know if he's trying to put a little too much. Usually that's a, a symptom of a pitcher trying to throw too hard and then it changes their release point. Ooh, that ball is high in 54. Really popped the glove though. I'm surprised there's only 54 on the gun. No, the count. Jorge, way off the base out of second. You can kind of see him. He's in behind the umpire. He's so far off the base. Don't love it. Jorge, Jorge. I mean, Gianni. There's three. There's three. There's three no, the count. Johnny swinging on three up. Ah, uh, he's gonna, he's not gonna, you know, you, you know what happens in, in practice. If he doesn't wanna walk, he'll run. Coach will have him running for missing the 3-0. And he spikes that ball. It doesn't really matter uh, for Gianni's base on ball situation, but. Hey. All right, my son will be up. Teddy will be up with Aaron in the on-deck circle. My butterflies are great. My stomach is a little top topsy-turny. And we got a little powwow here by the jackrabbits as they're getting ready for that. Jorge will return to second. My second base camera keeps sliding down. And, oh, where's our guy in first? I guess he's still, Gianni's still coming back over. He's not gonna come back. I'm gonna go fix that second base camera a little. My second base camera keeps sliding down. I get more sky than I get ground.
Let's go, Teddy. He's super cerebral. All right, you got this seven, cries out from mom. Dad's pacing, Teddy steps in. He has picked out where he wants to put this ball. Let's see if we get a first pitch fastball, which he loves, and he does something with it. And he, uh, 55 mile an hour fastball. Teddy pulls down the left field line. He was so ready. As it turns out, his initials plus his number, 07, allow you to say TK07, which I kind of love and would love to, for that to catch on. He does not and does not. Oh, that ball is way over Teddy's head. Chance of 0707 coming from the No points for creativity, but lots of points for enthusiasm, which this team has often lost. One ball, one strike. That ball is low. Teddy watches it into the catcher's glove. Number 37 here for Choice Select. Uh, had, that was 57, so he's got some heat. That ball is outside. So Teddy with 3-1 Kenna. 3-1, have fun, coach says. 3-1, have fun, I love it. Know where you want it, pick that spot. Teddy uh, Bet has right center picked out where he wants to hit this. He's not gonna get a chance though. He is gonna get a base. In comes Aaron. And up 4-4, ladies and gentlemen. 4-4, Jackrabbits. Tie choice select here in the bottom of the, what are we in the bottom of the fourth, bottom of the third? Bottom of the third. Bottom of the third, still bases loaded, only one down. Hot, hot. Aaron up right now. If the ball is anywhere over the plate, Aaron's gonna get it. He watches that low and away pitch take for ball one, 57. So the, the lack of a low strike zone uh, that this ump's had for two games now, definitely hurting number 57 here. He's gonna have to, or 37, he's gonna have to elevate his pitches like that. And a ground ball through the left field side. And Gianni now going, a little fumble by the outfielder. Gianni's gonna score. Teddy at second, hot hitting Aaron, hot hitting Aaron with a two run RBI single. Jackrabbits up 6-4. That is how we like to see it. What a beautiful single. Ricardo now, who last at bat uh, spent the whole time staring down the third base line, pulling his head. <laughs> he's gotta keep his head in or he's in trouble. Teddy at second, Aaron at that, that's a strike, that's been a strike all day at the, at the chin. Aaron at first, Teddy at second, um, and Chris on deck. Not to get ahead of Ricardo who's gonna get on here, but when he does, Chris will be on. Oh, that's out, 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 out. And that ball bounces in the crowd over at the other field. But Ricardo kept his head in. We can go back and watch that, Ricardo kept his head in. So. Big, big step forward learning how to be Betty. And th play it second. The ball goes in the outfield. Move it, but he will scam. Teddy moves the third on a errant throw. What happened to my third base? Ah, sorry, he's in the third. I don't know what happened to my, my thing there. Uh, it was a pickoff attempt, and so, yeah. Errant pickoff attempt. So Teddy moves into scoring, well, he's already in scoring position, but only moves ahead 80 feet. We've got Aaron going out of first. That ball's popped up. Aaron's gonna get doubled up. Darn it, somebody missed a call. Oh, man, first base, had he been there, that would have been doubled up. But instead, Ricardo or Aaron missed a sign, almost doubled us up. Instead, simply one out. Whew. Good heads up play by Aaron on the um, on the on the play there to get back. Chris steps in. Chris is putting the putting the uh, the bat on the ball much better these game and a I'm not sure what's happening. We got a 
We got a conversation over here. Oh, there's an issue of the sec the first baseman was playing, I guess behind maybe interference, potential interference there uh, with the uh, with the first base uh, with with Aaron on first base. I think is what the ump was thinking about there. As it turns out, Aaron steps in. For, or sorry, Chris steps in for his first pitch. That ball is high. And Teddy is yeah. Teddy slid under the. Slid under. Wow. Said he should have been out there, but he slid under, got down, got nice and dirty. I don't know. Um, pass, uh, catcher has to block the plate there, uh, which, you, which you really hate to see, honestly, at this age, because they can get really hurt. They don't know what they're doing. Teddy gets in on the, my second base is all messed up. But trust me, there, Aaron is at second now. Jackrabbits take the lead. Chris with a single here. Drives in another run. Oh, I think, didn't, did you grab the ball? Did you grab the foul ball? One of the duels grabbed it. And oh, we got it. Yeah, we got it. The, the foul ball that went back over here, we got it. So we got 5 4. Se oh, seven, wait, 7 4? Oh, all right, 7 4. Yeah. Se oh, that's why we scored two on Aaron's. That's what it was. It was tied, and then Aaron hit the. Oh, beautiful hit. Gonna. Dropped by the left fielder. Dropped by the left fielder. I wish I could show you a second when my camera fell. And that ball gets passed, but you have to trust me that we got a double on drop by left fielder. Another run in. <laughs> this is this is eight. So this is the big inning. At this age, even if you grow up and watch high school, heck, I was watching college. And there is a we have a timeout here as we take the armor off. There is big inning that a team will give up that they can point to is that was that was when it happened and uh, I can tell you that when Choice Select goes back and watches this in the event that they do run uh, that they do end up losing this game they'll just point to this inning because they played phenomenal baseball through two innings uh, ah, I can't I gotta go fix that thing it's gonna drive me crazy it's currently shooting into the ground sorry that was my second base cam we're still struggling with a placement for the second place cam oh that ball has popped up to the right side, and oh, just gets out of play. That is one. What's up, YouTube? Yep, we'll be on YouTube, as always. I think that's it. And next pitch, Eastside swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt. Two strikes now. Isai will. Swing and a miss, kind of hands at it, and that's it with the tag, and that will be all, but not before the Jackrabbits do a lot of damage. They listened to coach, they played their ball, they were able to play eight that inning, I believe, and puts us up eight four as we go into we top of the fourth with one hour and 33 minutes. Uh, this is probably the whole ball of wax. Can the Jackrabbits get three outs? Uh, if so, they would end up be having a very, very good first day. If y'all would like to see what my second base camera looks like, it currently looks like that. So we're gonna try to figure out what the heck is going on there. Oh, too much, too much. All right, we'll call that good for now. The Jackrabbits are gonna have a different defensive here, so we're gonna see what we get on the defensive side of the ball. But they cannot count their chickens. Uh, again, any one bad inning can do it for you, and uh, we cannot allow that to happen this inning for us. So Jackrabbits, have got to stay focused, have got to throw strikes, have got to know where the ball goes. And if they are able to do that, we will have ourselves a ball game because we're going to have time. Do we know how many minutes left? Like 15 minutes? 12 minutes. 12 minutes remain. Oops. Oh, I'm just on track around here, Mike. So. It's all right. Check it with the official scorekeepers. 12 minutes remain. 12 minutes remain. 
With only 12 minutes, this will be, if we can get three outs, this will be it. 12 minutes remain, ladies and gentlemen, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 12 minutes and three outs, as correctly noted by Mark, time alone is not enough. Uh, because we have started this inning, we will complete at least this half of the inning. We will complete the whole inning in the event that the wheels fall off and we uh, have to bat again. But we're not talking about those things. Chris throwing 55. Originally slated to start this game, we had, hold on, let me go back and fix my second base again. Because I'm zoomed way in on the wrong spot. Oh my God, that's, what do I got? All right, sorry folks. If I had a control tr truck, I could do this without you guys seeing it, but I am just stuck with a, uh, a simple iPad, so. Um, all right, with that, we get a falls in coming down call. Chris, who was slated originally to start this game, but then Gianni was brought in to um, relieve in the first game. And I think coach just thought, especially because they were so close, beautiful throw from Isai. Love to see Choice Select try that uh, arm and, and get that beautiful throw. So Chris has the bet, like our, our starting uh, infield. So Chris will be on the mound. And then uh, Isai behind the plate, Joe at first, Ricardo at second, Jorge short, and Gianni at third. Swing, 56 mile an hour. Swing on a ball that uh, was a little over his head. In left, we've got Javon. In center, we've got Jack. And in right, we've got Aaron. So kind of going with the starting uh, nine, with the exception of Chris. Swing and a miss at a 56 mile an hour fastball. That was beautifully located low and away. 56, yeah. He, um, Chris is, this is only, I think, the second or third time he's pitched for us and uh, spent some time in the offseason working on it. And that ball was corked down the left field line. Yeah! Javon grabs it! Javon grabs it! Javon grabs it! That is the game differential right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that celebration! Look at him go! Oh! If they're gonna play like that, you will Javon, simply the best athlete on the team. He was the star running back for his middle school start, star uh, point guard for his uh, championship winning middle school team. Oh, that ball is crushed though into left center field. That's probably, that's a better angle. And that ball's gonna go deep. We're gonna get him at, gonna get him with a good solid double. So good swing there by the choice select. Good swing, drove that ball. So at this point, Chris elevating his 56 mile an hour fastball and both choice select players able to put good, good aluminum on it and drive it. One uh, where Javon made an amazing catch and one where that ball was uncatchable. So Chris has two options here. One, he's got to bring the ball down a little bit. So the ball ends up hitting as a, and we got a third. Oh, he's in there safely at third. So uh, Chris went off the windup. And so he, he you know, uh, that he gave he gave that base away. That was a that was on Chris and him not coming from the stretch, but coming from the windup. So Chris could come from the windup again if he'd prefer, because he the, the runner on third really isn't going anywhere. And in the event that he were to try to steal home, Isai could block the plate and get the tag down. So that's ball two. Chris, pretty hyped, I think. I don't know, I should ask Dad, but I think for a kid who's pretty mellow most of the time, he looks like there's a lot of adrenaline running through his brain, or running through his body. So Jackrabbit's absolutely happy to trade a run for an out here on a ground ball. There it is. That was a nice pitch on the inside corner. That was one strike. So Chris now really needs to locate his next pitch, maybe outside, but certainly keep the ball down. 56 on that fastball, if I didn't mention that. So Chris right in that upper 50s. Ooh, that was not where you wanted to put it. You do not want to ever be up near the batter's head. Certainly not in that position. Now it's a 3-1 count. He's really got to um, bring that, that pitch. 
So the Jackrabbits are trying to have more pitchers this year so they can go deeper in the tournament. One of our problems last year was only at really four pitchers. So we could win, um, you know, we could win on, on Saturdays pretty easily, but then we'd be out of pitchers for Sunday. So we'd get one or two games on Sunday. So coach trying to really extend out the ability to play deeper on Sundays by having more pitches, pitchers. So Chris adding to the rotation. We saw Ricardo earlier, those kind of things. So again, you trade a run for an out, but you, you have to stop doing that pretty soon here. And there's a bunt. And that's a foul ball. Sorry, I didn't show it to you because I can't really show it to you, but um, I promise. So a uh, strange, strange decision there by number four to bunt. Uh, he had a runner going, and I'm not sure if they were bunting for the runner on third, so sort of a sacrifice squeeze. Um, but uh, nonetheless, a strike for Chris. And the runner will take seconds. I promise the world is not that slanted in Colorado, but that's just what I got. And we're gonna get a timeout. And Chris, uh, what do we got? Chris is getting a chat. Not sure. Looks like he's staying in. Looks like there doesn't not look like the ball has left Chris's hands. So Chris has still got control of his own destiny. But with runners at second and third and only one out, we need to uh, got to get an out here. Big shout out to my daughter Lydia, who's doing some homework in this on the spring break. She hates it. She hates it with a passion of a thousand fiery suns. Uh, last break, it took us just short of her entire eighth year of life to finish a packet. Oh, I'm getting the look now. I'm getting the look. But true or false, you didn't get. It. We drove from Durango to Denver, and we did not get it done. It's true. So this year, we're, this this. I'm putting it on YouTube. Ugh. This spring break, though, we're going to get it done early, and there'll be no fights. Learning, like the boys do, that you got to put the work in, you got to put the practice in, then you get to have fun. Now, Chris resumes towing the rubber. Batter steps back in on a 1 1 count with one down. And a ground ball. And we get a play at home. All right, we took. That was absolutely well executed. Absolutely well executed by our boys. You take, you trade the run for the out. So smart move to throw to first, get the out. You give up the run because you have the lead uh, comfortably eight to five still with a runner on third. The key thing is this batter. This is the whole ball of wax here probably folks. This batter and out for the Jackrabbits and the game, it, the game is a win. He gets on and, and is able to score his teammate. That's a problem. 55 on the outside corner. So Chris really, well, I guess that's the outside corner of the left-hander. Never mind. <laughs> really living on that in, that what is normally on the inside corner of the right-hander. So, but if he can keep the ball down, he should induce more ground balls. That ball is too high. Runner scampers back on a very convincing fake from Isai. I'm not sure Gianni was ready for it, but one ball, one. Didn't quite hit the target low, but definitely got the outside. So one ball, two strikes now. And we've got swing and a miss, strike three. That is the end of the inning, ladies and gentlemen, with enough time on the clock. Even if there is time, we should be able to get ourselves to the end of time. But that was huge right there. That was huge right there. So. Uh, with that, the Jackrabbits do give up one, but nonetheless trade it for three outs and the chance to take control of their own destiny. I'm just going to find out how many minutes are left. Two minutes left. Co Ump is saying only two minutes remain. So by the time the kids do uh, infield, um, and if our batters just take a while, we'll, uh, we should be able to win this game and go 2-0 and today, which, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time since we've gone 2-0 and on a Saturday. So I'm not going to jinx it, but barring... 
some crazy forfeiture, it looks like the Jackrabbits will notch a second victory, which if I look at my spring break tournament bracket, 2-0 and o teams are likely to be seeded, oh, let's see, probably something like first to fourth place. So that would be 11 a.m. games if you're a fourth place team, an 11 a.m. game if you're a third place team, and you don't play until one if you're first or second. So if the if the good Lord wants me to go to church tomorrow, we'll end up with a top two seed and we can make church. Let's go, Jack. So Jack now stepping in. The Jack's job here is to take as many pitches as he can. Do not swing. Take as much time as possible. Do not swing. And that ball is outside, so that wasn't gonna be a swing anyway. Again, just waiting. Each of these pitches taking five to 10 seconds. There we go, and that's it. That's all Jack had to do is take the one pitch. Jack Rabbits with a huge comeback in the bottom of the third inning, able to put eight across the plate. Choice Select played really well. These boys, uh, bravo to them. The one bad inning, it happens at, at this level, it happens at high school, happens in college. Um, and our boys got to be really proud of themselves today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are probably at 11, maybe at 1 tomorrow. Make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you have. I hit the notification bell so you get notice. Um, and as always, for Keith, your silent scoreboard keeper, and Mike, your anything but silent talker, we are so pleased to be part of the Jack Rabbits Broadcasting and Vamos Libres Radio. Thank you so very much for joining us. Vamos Libres, let's go Jack Rabbits. Have a good rest of your Saturday afternoon, everybody.